Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about are is the widget on the sidebar. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using a beta version of this plugin, and so I noticed that it's got a couple of issues. So just bear with the issues and know that they're going to get fixed. And I think only one of these issues is in the older plugin. So, um, so the plugin that you're using right now won't have all of the same issues, and we should have these issues out of this plugin shortly, then everything will be hunky dory. Alright, that said, here is the sidebar widget. Um, you've got, dang, let me just pause this and get rid of some of these menus up here at the set, top. Hang on. Actually, I decided I should probably show you what I'm doing. Um, so, by default, you, the, uh, the plugin is going to create a thing called silo SEO menu and it will add all of the silos to the silo SEO menu which you can see at this juncture is quite a few. Now you're going to come in here to manage locations and what's happening is it's automatically defaulting to just adding, which Genesis does, just adding all of the pages to everything. So if I come in here, my only choice right now is to add the silo menu, which is going to put me back in the same place where I was. So I'm going to make um, a brand new menu. I want to... Where is the add a menu function? Create a new menu. Here we go. I'm going to create a new menu. I call this menu blank. Clever name. I'm going to create it. And it's going to be, you got it, blank. So now I can come in here to manage locations and I can select blank as being the second nav menu and now when I come in here and I hit refresh this menu ought to go away. Yay! So now I can come in, I can put one here, the silo menu and if I do this and come in here it should give me one menu with all of that stuff and no longer two of them. So now you've got an idea of what you can do to fix that. You create the most themes I find I have to create a blank menu because it's trying to add um, menus in a couple of different places and so I need one that's just blank. Alright, so that's how you get around that lovely little nasty. So here we are, sidebar widget, which is where we were before we got so rudely interrupted. Back to the widgets area. And if I come in here and this here, you can see this has got no title on it. So I'm going to put a title on it, Widget Menu. So now you're going to know that this is indeed the sidebar widget menu. If I come back here and I hit a refresh, that should show up, boom, right there. All right? Makes kind of a nice little thingy dingy. Now, you don't have to call it Widget Menu, which sounds kind of like unusual. You can have like more information. Or something else, you know, more articles, related articles, maybe that's a good one. Whatever you want to call it. Now, here you've got the option for a home page. And if we are anywhere other than on the home page, so I don't know, let's say that we're in this first silo here, then you can see home is called home. If you don't want it to be called home, you can say mm, master page whatever you want to call it, right? However you want to refer to it. Sometimes in certain types of sites you want to call home something else. So that's how you change that. Now, um, showing breadcrumbs is a cool thing. You get extra points for it because it's marked up and all of that kind of good stuff. However, I found that this particular version can be a little bit glitchy. Oh, that added just fine. It didn't do anything strange. Now if I come, I'm in home buying. Let me go to some place where I actually know I've got subordinate stuff. So I've got the home page, right? And I've got my silo page. And I've got FHA loan. And I've got all the way down to the bottom. Alright, so this is all working just peachy. Where I notice that there's a problem, and there's also a problem on the previous version, is with the show excerpts. I can't imagine why the heck you would want to show an excerpt in the sidebar widget because we just talked. I showed you what that looked like on the um, when you've got it 
actually on the page and it's a cool thing but trying to show the excerpts on the sidebar would just make for a mess so I don't actually think that that option should be there however when you have it there it kind of screws the menu up I think for good reason so just leave that unchecked and we'll remove that in a future version and then it won't be a problem so if you're having a problem with your menu showing up completely that's probably what it is you can uncheck that and you should be good to go all right so that um, those are the menus and the, both the website menu as well as the sidebar widget and I think that's the five minute mark maybe I can squeeze these other two topics in here and then we can be done with this series so um, Exporting reports is a pretty straightforward thing. This is just a map of your entire website. Everything, I mean, it's a, a great place to go to. You can't do anything with it. Like if you're here in the manual silo builder area, you can actually drag these around, which is something that I didn't actually talk about before. But, um, but you can change the order by dragging them around that way, or you can even change, you know, you can change your whole site around if you want to. You can't take this is taking a while because it is so huge. You can't take a silo and actually move it underneath another silo. It won't do that. A silo's got to be a silo. So if you decide you don't want this, you got to go blow it away and then add it again where you want it, if you want it under something. But I can take this and I can move it pretty much wherever I want, you know, under whatever category I want to move it under. I can move an entire category under whoops that didn't take but it should have I can move an entire category underneath another silo you get the idea you can mess with this severely you can mangle this to your little heart's content however you want it to happen alright so and then if you want just like a a version that you can't mangle you can come here and I think there's even yep you can export this so that you've got um, a version that you can hand to your client if you want to or if you want a version that you just like take and stick on your hard drive somewhere so that if somebody else comes in and mangles the, the organization of your website you know what it was and you can put it back the way it was um, silo styles as I talked about before it, if you say yes I want to use silo styles then this all opens up and you can change your link color you can change the size you can change the line height. Um, you can mess with all of that style information. And if you decide that it looks worse that way than it looked before, you just say no. Um, or you can hit reset and it'll default back to the way that it was. The last thing, last but not least, are your video silo maps. So you can actually generate a video sitemap, and these video sitemaps can be uploaded to um, Google and so if you want to come in here after you've done an update particularly if you've um, uh, I don't know under what circumstances it might not be <clears throat> up to date but if you find out that your video site map is not up to date then um, and you can do that by just checking the current site map to to see what that looks like. It's very pretty. And if this doesn't have everything in it that you need, <clears throat> then you can just generate the sitemap again. It can take a couple minutes to generate if the site has gotten as large as mine is currently. And if you want to, you can add existing items. And, uh, and so that that's in case you, uh, you actually imported something. Or I should say, in case you uh, you upgraded this from an older version that didn't have a sitemap, and then you can add your existing items, and it will update the sitemap with the older items from the previous version. All right, so that's everything. We've walked all the way through all of the settings that I can think of in uh, in Video Silo Builder, and I hope you enjoy. I know this is one of my favorite products. This has definitely become my my favorite um, silo builder uh, plugin because of all of the enhanced features that have been added over the course of the last couple of updates. Alright, thanks everybody. Sue Bell from Network Empire.